SOAR is changing lives. We all play different roles at different times. Sometimes we're givers and sometimes we're receivers. Recipients of SOAR grants have been real givers of their time, of their prayers and energy. It's heartwarming to then give to them as they are in a phase of life when they need to receive. I'm not sure how many people realize the level of need. They're not only aging, but many of them have health problems. The buildings that they're in were never constructed for an aging population, which is exactly the point of having the grants. SOAR has been really essential for us here at Sacred Heart Manor in providing a grant that allowed us to update our technology. We ought not to think that the divinity We were able to add it to the community room so that those that are not able to join us in the chapel gather to watch the Mass. SOAR has enabled us to use our iPads to keep in contact with our family members. Hi, I'm Maria. Hi, Vanessa, how are you? Sacred Heart Manor was not cooling as well as it should have. Our sister's bedrooms were at about 85 degrees on hot days, and we applied for an emergency grant from SOAR. It was so hot. I was so happy that we got new air conditioning, so now we're living a very cool life. All our communities in the U.S. are aging religious. The great majority of our membership are elderly friars. We have a provincial house where for many years we had an elevator and it was such an old elevator, at some point there were no more parts and so we had to decommission it. They were struggling to get up the stairs and so we applied for a grant from SOAR and praise the Lord, the grant has come through and we're in the process now of, uh, of putting in a new elevator. Another uh, grant that we received from SOAR that was very, very helpful for us, we were able to install an air conditioner in our kitchen that serves the brothers here. SOAR provided the funding that purchased a hydraulic lift for our saltwater heated pool. We have a number of priors and priests that had serious strokes where they have ambulatory difficulties, they cannot walk, and the chair lowers them in the pool, and then we can do water therapy exercises. SOAR is a great partner for us and other religious communities, whether it be sisters or priests, because they're all about the need. There are things that, as simple as walkers that we wouldn't have if it were not for SOAR, or a handicapped van. The needs of the congregations that we work with just increase every day. We get 100 different proposals annually and though we have resources, they're also limited. Every gift you give to SOAR gets to the men and women religious who need it most. You can trust SOAR. There is no sister that I know of who is retired. Their work these days is the ministry of meeting the everyday needs of their sisters. And SOAR helps to ensure that they're still active in the mission of the congregation. I see SOAR all around me. We have a van that we use when we're taking sisters that have to go out to appointments. One of the grants from SOAR allowed the IHM Center to upgrade their dining services. The tables are more intimately set, which makes it easier for them to talk and communicate. Last year, they've installed touchless doors. So it makes them more independent. In light of these challenging economic times, Sometimes what our aging religious have to count on is the consistency, the fidelity, the faithfulness of their friends and donors, like SOAR. The Ablate Sisters of Providence truly appreciate the assistance that we receive from the SOAR program. I want to thank the donors who provide funding to help SOAR, to help us. We are very grateful for your generosity. What I'd like to do is to give them a great big hug. I'd like to say thank you to SOAR for all the help that they've given to our brothers. We see it as a blessing from God. Brother Julius says thank you. Thank you, SOAR, for all you do for me and my sisters. God bless you. 
Thank you, Storm.